Healthy and brain aging implies as you get older that you are maintaining mental acuity and well-being into old age. The World Health Organization says that um, there's over 55 million people who have Alzheimer's or some sort of a major neurocognitive disorder, dementia. So anything that we can do to promote healthy brain and aging is really, really important. To achieve healthy aging, there are a number of different components. And some of the ones that are especially important are um, appropriate exercise, appropriate diet and nutrition, proper sleep, and mindfulness. We can show why exercise is beneficial. You see changes, structural changes in the brain. You see changes in molecules such as BDNF and inflammatory markers that help prevent this cognitive decline that we see with aging. Whereas with cognitive exercises, you don't see the same kind of mechanistic data available. However, cognitive activities such as learning a new language or staying connected with your friends and family or learning a new task such as a musical instrument, they all have shown to help prevent cognitive decline. So there's no perfect prescription, but any activity is good. It could be hiking, running, swimming. So do it regularly and stay connected. That's the best advice that we can give right now. Sleep affects mental health uh, at every age. Um, we need sleep to function on a daily basis in our lives emotionally and, and cognitively. If you're not sleeping well at night, I think the first thing I recommend to all my patients is to sort of assess your environment and figure out, is your environment conducive to sleep? Um, is the temperature right? Is the lighting dim enough? You know, are you being distracted by electronics? Also, looking at some of your medications. Could any of your medications be keeping you up at night? But there are definitely many things that we can do to improve our sleep that don't require prescriptions. Diet over the years makes a difference in brain health, cognitive health, and also emotional health as well. In general, we know that there are certain diets that are bad for the heart because the heart is an inorgan. It receives nutrients and oxygen. So any diets that, that lack problems and cause problems for the heart will also be problems for the brain as well. Our Western diets with its heavy emphasis on pizzas or burgers and fries, high salty foods or high fat foods or sugar drinks, these things actually cause problems in the long term for supporting the organ like the heart or the brain itself. However, there are some things that are good for the brain. In fact, it's been found that the Mediterranean diet or the DASH diet are heart healthy diets. And similarly, those diets are also good for the brain as well. Mindfulness can be helpful to people of all ages, um, but in older adults it's especially helpful with reducing stress, anxiety, depression, and helping to manage pain. You can do things like you know, meditative breathing, mindfulness-based nutrition, um, body scan. Those are different kinds of techniques that mindfulness practitioners will engage patients or clients in. And when you're choosing somebody to help you clinically, it would be important to have a practitioner who also practices mindfulness. It can be very, very useful and helpful.